Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Guigu Bahuang Let's Play. So, as you might notice, uh, in terms of the year, it's been a while since our last episode ended. We ended with a date last episode. And actually, I didn't intend to do this time jump. What happened was, I was recording, and the game crashed halfway and it corrupted the file, so I lost most of the image. I sent my voice for that episode, but that obviously wouldn't work, so I thought, Maybe I'll just skip through some stuff and grind our way closer to ending crystallization tier because we've been here quite a long time. We can't get enough of the soul stone because none of the creature guarding it would ever spawn. So that's a bit annoying. Now we did lose some footage and the only thing significant that I want to say was lost is that at this corner, at the very bottom of the EC, was where the Fusang tree was. The tree that nested the three-legged ravens. I bumped into it, talked to the guardian there who said I had to go to a pond at the farthest south to get some holy water to protect the tree in order for us to get a branch because the tree is withering away because of corruption from this mountain range. Uh, it's been corrupting it for hundreds of years. We brought back the holy water, had to defeat a boss. Uh, everyone's really easy because I think it's still tiered for this province. Uh, so it wasn't really significant in terms of difficulty. But we got the branch. Um, the tree withered away and died after getting the branch. That's how corrupt and damaged it was. And after we got it, we went back and we gave the branch and the feather that we got from the Bird King to Hou Yi, who crafted his bow and arrows and used them to shoot down nine of the sons, except for he only shot down I think eight of them and the last two we had to fight. And after we beat them and kept one alive and told them to go back, uh, that was the end of the quest. There was some very nice artwork, uh, but there's nothing else to it. Hoi himself from using such a holy weapon, uh, crafting the bow from the wood branch of this tree, uh, withered away into a spirit form. And that's pretty much all we did back here, and now we're back here grinding. And in terms of our grind, I have the soul stone for the earth, which everyone saw a couple episodes ago. I managed to get the soul stone of the lightning and fire. And then I went to water and I grinded out a hundred shards, which we have. I haven't crafted them in case we have a chance to get the guardian to show up. That way we can get one that's, you know, 90% or higher. Because if we craft something, it's going to be about 40%. It's going to lower our odds of, you know, ascending. But right now, I don't want to wait any longer. So we are going to grind the last two uh, together here. The wood and the wind. Um, basically, we're looking for 100 shard. Guardian's not showing up. So we're just going to do some fighting. And our build, um, it's the same build. But everything is full mastery. And I rerolled most of the skills on the basic attack and the uh, passive. So right now I have about 75 range. I can show you guys what I rerolled it into. Um, it's decently strong. I don't think the damage you know, increased by a significant amount, but overall it's still a better build. And farming these have one advantage. Uh, they not only drop shards, they also drop the material that we need for rerolling, which we actually do need quite a bit. Is rerolling a good attribute on it is definitely game changing in terms of weapon. Alright, so these aren't hard. Um, it does take a while to grind. I think we've got to do about five battles in each zone to get about 100. Um, uh, we've got 24 here. That's the material we need for the reroll. And speaking of the reroll, I'll show our build right now. Uh, we used to have the same two moves, nothing else changed. We really need a better ultimate, but I feel like we should just wait till we get the tin done. I think we can get there without it. And um, let's see, rerolling. This is our basic attack. Um, we rerolled to. Oh, we can actually look at here because we see which one's near perfection. We have 10% extra damage to elite enemies, so I guess these are mini bosses. We had 9% extra damage to other cultivators. 21% chance of adding Nei Xu, which is our uh, basically debuff on the enemy. And uh, that's the one we pop uh, when we use our other special ability. Uh, this one we're going to call the basic ability. 
Uh, big monster, boss monsters that end the stages, 10% extra damage. Range of the ability, remember this is the four little beam shoots out and comes back. It's 800 range by default. We get 75 extra range on that, which is great. Um, it can get even better, uh, so we can keep re-rolling. Regular units, 3% damage. The Nei Shu, the stack, can sustain itself for extra 2.77 seconds. Uh, so obviously the longer it sustains itself, the more chance we can stack multiple ones. So we are going to try to re-roll this again. Now it's worse, we have to kind of revert it back. That's the problem with re-rolling a bunch of stuff that's near perfection, 134 range. That's slightly better. So we're going to have to spend points. Our points are based on our finger talent plus our intuition. So that way we can get this back, we can get this back, we can get this back, and even get this back. We can still get one more thing back if we want, uh, but these are the same, so that's good. This one is perfect. So not near perfection, but perfect. 134 extra range is as far as it goes. So you can see how we can improve ourselves um, at this point using these resources. So grinding for shards is actually good for us. Um, and then the other thing is I didn't touch this one mainly because it maxed out a blue, but I think I should still give it one reroll because the damage multiplier still goes up by quite a bit. Oh, we are very lucky. Unfortunately, the range didn't increase and the mana didn't increase, so we'll just bump that back to minus five. Best thing it is is going to be blue, so this is pretty good. It goes from 1% to 8% against other cultivator, against the elites, 2% to 7%. We'll take that. And the one that I mainly focused on is actually our passive, because our jumping ability and our alt is useless for us right now. And this one we rolled earlier, the one that I actually worked on the most is this. Is this has the stacking of Nei Xu, which I really wanted to be plus two or three, because right now it's four is default, plus one layer is five max, which is okay, but the higher it is, the better it is for us. Now, the most important one that we got here is this. For every stack of Neishu on the field, our damage goes up by 0.81% at maximum of 5.67%. So this can stack about 7 times, or exactly 7 times max if we can. So each stack we can generate increase our overall damage, which I think is something that can really help us. So that's pretty much what we have. Now all this is garbage. So yeah. That's kind of our build right now and what we're planning to do right now for this episode. Just grind out 100 shards. We got 24 there, so if we can somehow get a couple more, be even better. So if we, you know, sustain around the 25 average, there'll be just four battles, but somehow I don't think the game will let us do that. Yeah, the extra range now it's like plus 134 is going to definitely make us kite better. And since it is piercing, you want to aim it really, really far away and let the return damage do most of the damage on them. The boss is going to jump out. Use that. Terrain here. It's a little bit annoying. Got the pill back. It's the only 15 this time, right? So we're 39 after two fights. We're not even averaging 20 per fight. Maybe even four battles is possible. The good news is they keep coming. And I feel like right now I just chug pills during battle, hoping that it comes out the other end after 10 seconds. Oh, not that time. It didn't come back. It's okay. If it doesn't come back, it doesn't come back. But the fact that there is a chance to get the pill back makes me want to, you know, chuck them during the battle. It's a pretty high chance. I think it's about 80% from testing, not, not from actual math. Okay, so we're averaging 
barely there. We're at 61. We need 39 more, probably two fights, like I mentioned. They start us out in the poison field. Very nice of them. Oh, we also have to go to the Thunder Marsh and kill that boss. Which I think we can do now with our increased range. So then we can kite the abilities a little better. We just gotta bring the right pills and chug them before the fight. My goal is to ascend in this episode. And then finally we can start investing into our final tier skills for Zindan. And of course, once we go to the next zone, it's going to be outdated again and we're going to have to rinse and repeat the whole process. But at least for now, we're going to feel accomplished if we do get there. And we don't really have a main storyline quest after the three-legged like raven. At least I haven't bumped into one. Oh, feeling the seed. Never mind, we bumped into one. The EC kind of whooped us with that main quest line. Jingwei Tianhai. Right, the girl who, who died. Um, we have exactly... 150, no that's a water one. Alright, we need 15 more. Let's make it happen. Now we've got to chug some done at the beginning. We got it back. See the, the number four slot back to five total after ten seconds, even though we took one and five is the maximum number. Let's take another one. The only problem with taking it in battle is that Nian Li, our third stat, which we rarely use, our like mental fortitude, goes down every time we eat one, so that's a problem. But overall it's not bad. Oh we missed his placement. It's predicting it. Messed it up. There we go. Okay, we needed 15, we got 16. That's that's right on, that's fine. Now we just need a hundred of these and we're good. We're gonna have three that's not 90% or plus. I think I got 90%, 93%, and 100% for the three that I got the Guardians. So these, I'm assuming, will all be around uh, 40%. Oh, come on. Always, this is the boss. Interesting. Twenty-two. Okay, that's that's a good number. I think anything above twenty is great. When does it actually hurt? It's like one damage per second. Ah, oh, 16. So we're at 38. 
after two goes. Not the greatest. Poison spider fast enough, they're like exploding on me. Yeah, we still lack damage to be honest. Still one short of, uh, we're 59 right now. We need 30. Oh, we need 41 in the next two goes. So many people also here. Come on, there we go. Got him. Alright, 41, 20. 21, the last one. Please, please, 21, the last one. That way, we just have to do one more and then we're done. And then we can go to the Thunder Marsh, finish that part up, and we can ascend. Auction's coming soon. There's a. Uh... Okay, there's an herb one near. Okay, and there's also a feng shui one. I'm just gonna ignore those, focus on this for now. I wanna be in this corner because I wanna go to that town and teleport afterward. Come on, there we go. I think we can do it with 900 health. So far, we haven't really lost too much. Let's hope there's enough. 21, right? 21 is a magic number. 22! All right, perfect, perfect. All right, so we're all set. We just need to go kill that guy in the Thunder Marsh. Not the easiest thing to do, but we need to fast travel back to our sect, heal, and then travel down south. We have one more of those? No, unfortunately, no. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can craft them here. Percentage is not going to be great. 49, that's not too bad. 
wind. Sixty percent. Okay, I'm impressed. Fifty-four. Okay, they're way better than I thought. Okay, I can craft a bunch of these low-tier uh, soul stones into medium tier and then to high tier. This is what we use to rush uh, the masteries. And then go from medium tier to high tier. And that's it. And what we're going to do next is we're going to store everything because we're about to go south first. And I don't want to lose these. Now if you look at materials, we have all six elementals, we have the four uh, level up items, we also have the five from the elemental guardians and stuff we fought. Uh, I'm probably going to store these as well. I have five teleportation scrolls in case we need to come back anytime. Uh, we have a lot of these green ones, but the one we need for our current tier is the blue tier ones, which uh, we don't have. I can sell some stuff to clear up some space, like the remaining shards that we don't need anymore. Alright, back to our sec, and then we're going to go hunt that guy down. First we need to heal. Any missions for us? Uh, they also want us to get one of these um, leathers from the Lightning Beast. It's, it's a standard drop here. Three months till we get new ones, I don't really care. We're gonna be Zindan before you know it. First, we gotta get through the month. Ah, a fellow. Uh, she's giving us 96. Of, this is really bad, but like, sure. She's from our sect. She's in Zindan early stage. She really like us apparently. Thank you. Someone's trying to steal money from us. Very little money, no sec, but Jindan Hoqi, so later tier of Jindan, we can't mess with her. Let her go. I mean, even though it says she's severely wounded, where her health is decreased by 30, I just think she has too much attack for us to deal with her. So, just, just let her go. It's not a lot of money. Anything exciting? Auction coming soon. Well, hopefully, by the time we come back, we will be tiered up. So, ooh. Oh, our month, uh, annual delivery. Let's get that done first. Ah, the pawn, the house, the table. Let's go near the house. And let's go look at the table this time. Every time we try to break in, we get like blasted. Oh, wow. We got inspired to craft this ourselves. It's a saber technique. It's a Saber Alt. Wow. We should look at And then we also got two points of Saber talent. We should take that more often. Actually, we should eat all of these first. Fire, water, lightning, wind. And finally, finger style, which we have boosted quite a bit. I bought a lot of from our sect, and we're now 106. Oh, where is this guy? I gotta make sure we don't... Oh, he's pretty far. Right, so we can get attacked here, but everyone's so weak because it's from, like, kind of in between from the previous tier. And all the drops are from the previous tier, so it's actually a pretty waste of time here. Like, all these, uh... The reroll ones. Uh, can you not do damage to me? Trying to be fresh for the boss. All the reroll ones are for the first two tiers. We're in the third tier right now, so it doesn't apply. It's green. We need blue quality. So it's useless for us. Here he is. Oh, let's look for the gold light or the rainbow light. Let's try the rainbow light. Nothing has happened. We got some stamina back. We didn't use a lot of stamina. And there is a forest, there is a pavilion, and in the pavilion is a stone table with some tea, and the tea is still hot, and there is a poem that's unfinished. Let's finish the poem. 
As we are thinking about how to finish the poem, someone walks close to us. It's her. Who is her? No sect. Crystallization late tier. Same tier as us. Okay. As a son already, but no, no husband right here. I don't think we know her. And she's giving us... <laughs> She's very captivated by our looks, and she asks, do we want to have tea with her, a look at the moon, as, you know, like walk on the beach type of thing, and also dual meditate with her, of course. So we spend a very lovely evening. We don't get any points because, uh, oh, we do get Sindo though. Oh, okay, so even though we don't get any of the gathering points, we're already maxed. We do get extra Sindu because we are, you know, doing it with someone else. All right, this is the fight. This is the fight. Our right, equipment wise, I think we decked out everything. This one's a heal. They're all heal except for this one's a mana. This one's our biggest heal, right? 435. So that's the one we chug when we need to go. Ah, here goes nothing. Our final piece of the puzzle here. This time the mini boss he summon is the fro- oh right, the lightning. Okay, let's just jump out of the way first. Well, he still has five stacks. Oh, one stack timed out. Last time was the mangoose. That was really annoying because it cloned itself and did so much damage. Can we not dodge that? I got stunned. I got stunned. No, no, no. Okay, let me jump out. I need to get damage to him. Yeah, we're just chucking the dun. He has five stacks. Pop two on him. The dun came back, so we can still heal for 400 later. As long as the warp doesn't hit us, we're good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just want to come up here to pop it. Yes! We did it. And we got two manuals as well. Zindan manual as well. Defense one. Okay. Finger style. Zindan. Basic attack. Four beams. 640 range extra damage. So not exactly the style we like. And this builds up Kaimai. Probably not useful for us. But um we can sell it. Yeah we can sell it. This is what we came here for. Of a nye colored flower basically. So basically it's like a single stock flower with nye different colors. Anyways, we did it. I have a teleportation scroll. We're going home. We are going home. We're gonna go to our sect and do this. I should probably uh, first store it and then heal. Let me store all my good stuff. I don't want to get robbed during the healing in case it ends in a month or something. Okay, they're all saved. I want to be tip-top shape in case we get hit by the failure in the thunder thing again. All right, let's jump over this month. Okay. We got it. We got it. Let's take it all out. We need... This, 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 this. This, 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 this. Okay. Okay. It's ascension time. Fifth tier, fourth tier, third tier, second tier, and the one that we want. First tier.
Okay, we have a 54% here, 90, 60, 93, 49, 100, or 75% chance of success. I'll take it. Come on, we failed the last tier at like 80% or something. Let's not do it again to us. Oh no. Ah, so basically it rolled a failure or I don't know if this is considered failure, but basically we have to withstand this Tianjie. We have to survive, which is why we healed. 30 seconds. Just, just, just lightning. Just lightning. I think we can heal. Yeah, we're allowed to heal. Oh, we're fine then. There's no way he can kill us. If I can heal. Especially with no cooldown on heal as well, so... Six seconds. I can just jump for a little bit. We did it. That wasn't so bad. As the last lightning strikes, the dust clears. There are so many big and small marks on the ground. In the center, we are sitting like meditated. We said, finally passed, and we fall down. I think we get injury or something like that. I think we got it last time as well, but it's a couple months, not a big deal. But we ascended. We're now Jindan. Golden pill. Jindan, that's exactly what it is. Oh, we get pick. Trait. Hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, this is difficult, actually. So, this means little follower. There will be a strange bug or something that will follow us. So I guess we get a pet that can help us fight. It can be leveled up one time. So right now it's low tier, I guess. We can go, go to a medium tier. In battle, after we deal 200 damage, the next time we alt, we summon Jianjia, which is a sheath. It's, it's a sword sheath. And it shoots out six beams of sword auto attacking enemies on the field sustains 15 seconds every battle we can use it once and can also be upgraded to hong chen jian hun which is the sword spirit of hong, hong chen is like hong chen is kind of hard to translate it, it translates literally to red dust but it really means material life so a lot of Buddhist monks, when they, um, you know, shave their head and they give up marriage, they give up meat, they give up alcohol, and they, um, you know, give themselves to the religion, they're letting go of Hong Chen. That's usually how you say it. So basically, material life. Um, sounds very cool as well, because pretty much we get extra damage just by dealing two hundred. 200th damage and then we have to alt see that's the difficult part we have to alt to summon this <laughs> if we want to steal any item from a fellow cultivator who are equal or lower than our tier we will always succeed but we will always be discovered. <laughs> so we still have to fight. Pretty much. I don't really like this. I don't like to steal stuff. So, Wu Ji is the spear, sword, and saber. These three are considered the weapon tech. And the palm and... Actually, I think the palm ones are also considered weapon tech. All six palm, finger, uh, uh, fist, spear... Uh, sword and uh, what's the last one? What's the last one? Spear, sword, saber. B6 should be Wu Ji. All their ability have 15% 15, 15 less cooldown. Can be upgraded once. 
So if we're an elemental type, so if we were using fire and that stuff, this wouldn't help us. But we actually are using finger and we actually learned sword before that and then saber before that. So we, this one might be the best one for us. Yao Shu Ruman. Wow, sorcery. Okay, so all our attack has sorcery added in. 10% chance of turning target into a harmless chicken for 10 seconds. So it's like a CC ability. It can be upgraded once. So most of these can be upgraded once. But the problem here is it doesn't work on large bosses and doesn't work on other cultivators, which kind of obvious, right? It'd be super OP if it did. Not bad. Not bad. Xian Shou Hou Kong. Um, so first take damage, then attack, but there's this other connotation to this that I'm not going to talk about. But um, every time we take 6% damage, we will increase our damage by 1%. The highest it can go is 100%. Wow. So, so if we heal it, it's fine. We get stronger and stronger as we fight. So the thing about this is like, this one cannot be upgraded. This one cannot be upgraded. This one can, this one can, this one can, this one can. Hmm. I really like the cooldown idea. 15 second cooldown can also be upgraded once. But only... Wu Ji. But we're currently learning Wu Ji, so I think it's fine. The other one that I'm, cur I'm interested in is like either this, because we... Our basic attack is basically eight on hit effects, right? We have four shoots through, four comes back. So that's like eight times to trigger 10%. I mean, it's not 80%, but it's like 0 0.10, 0 0.1 times eight. So if the chance of that all missing is like 0 0.9 to the eighth power. It's very low chance of missing all eight, right? It should be like around 36, 37%, maybe 40%. I think it's 40% chance of missing all eight to not turn someone into a chicken. So it's like 60% chance hitting someone into a chicken, especially since it pierces as well. That's that's pretty cool. And then this one's pretty cool too, just because it can double our damage. I want to see chickens. We're, we're doing this. Yao Shu Woman. We're going to convert mobs to chickens. Just for the sake of seeing it. So as we are breaking through, we feel energy, spirit energy from monsters, right? This is a monster. We're learning how to harness the power of monsters to change them into chickens, which is like a monster thing. Um, they are mixing into the uh, chi energy, the, the the spirit energy that we're gathering. We don't know where it's coming from, but we don't want to break the ascension, so we absorb it, and uh, pretty much. It gets in, joins us. It didn't hurt us and gave us this new ability. It's kind of explaining. Each one has explanation. Remember the last one with the, the extra done coming into the mouth and coming out from behind? Uh, but regardless, we picked up a new trait. And the stats. So these stats all came from the items we picked. Their highest tier possible. Uh, essentially 40 years of extra life, 40 points of Dao points to give us more passive abilities, 59 extra attack damage, 40 extra defense, 1,340 uh, health, and then we get 160 mana, uh, and also 175 more fortitude, 114 crit uh, chance, or uh, this is not an actual crit chance value, but it's like chance to trigger crit, higher this is, the higher chance it is trigger crit. The crit damage multiplier, the chance to protect us from crit, the chance of uh, how many percent we get protected from crit, uh, 37, uh, de 37 defense against Gongfa, which are the physical damage, 37 defense against all the elemental, another 20 year of, of life, this is on one of the items, typically it's just standard 40, but we get something from the items, 10 move speed. And we're in Jindan. Nice. So this just keep track of which tier we used, and now we can get points again. We're probably going to find some of our lovely uh, fellow disciples, female disciples, who really like us in our sect, and uh, to find them to do some dual meditation to get us to the final tier. Juling is our next tier, um, so we will try to get there. There's only one way of getting there. We need four items, so this looks like three dungeons. 
十万大山 ，so the mountain ranges in between us to the next. So I think we got to go through the water to get to it. It's basically a mountain range. Um, there are going to be dungeons where we have to pay to get in again. These three, and this is a monster boss who appears in Shivan Dashan, and we also need one of these. Obviously, the higher one will get us higher percentage. We can buy it, or we can craft it using a recipe, or we can buy it from an auction. I guess、uh, we got to make sure it's the Hua Ling Dan. Basically, we bought the round tier before.、Uh, don't ask me. I mean, you guys probably remember we we bought the round tier before. But we're done. I'm gonna end the episode here.、Uh, it's a little short, but it's fine. This is daily series now. This is a good point. We got through. Didn't、uh, we got through、um, crystallization finally? We're in the golden pill. I guess is what I'm gonna call it. And what we're gonna do is learn new skills next time. We saved up a couple, but we can go to the auction, which happens in exactly one month, which is perfect timing. Spend. As much money as we have, buy as many good things as we have, master it, ascend in our sect, so that we have access to the sect treasure, the top roll. Pick those, master those, grind some more, and、uh, go from there. And if you guys could let me know about feedbacks, do you guys mind me grinding and skipping some of the stuff?、Uh, because if I don't do missions per se, maybe if I grind through some of the stuff to get the Value so that we have our skill up and going. Like maybe I'll show the auction and the tournament, but once we pick out our skills and we need to get all the mastery points up, maybe that part I can grind on myself. It does take quite a while, but、um, let me know how you guys feel about that. If you guys don't mind watching the grind, I'll show it.、Uh, if you guys don't like watching it, leave a comment below and I'll skip it. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.